Next Wave DV's coverage of NAB 2011 is made possible by LCD Viewfinder, the essential accessory for DSLR video, CPM Film Tools, your lightweight solution for caging the beast, Manhattan LCD, the affordable solution for high definition monitoring, BNH, the professional source for photo, video, and pro audio. Tony here from Next Wave DV, and we are at the IRIA booth uh, showing off the new Alexa cameras, and we're with Henrik Voss, and you guys have some brand new stuff that you're going to tell us about. Yes, it's uh, true. Here we have the Alexa M. That's a new model in the Alexa family of cameras. Uh, as you see, it's a very compact a modular system. Um, what we have done is that we have separated the head and the body of the Alexa camera, and then um, connected both with the fiber cable. So in fact this is the head making it uh, quite small and lightweight. Um, of course it has all the features and all the quality and the image that the Alexa has. Um, but we are quite flexible on set. As you can see here we have it on a 3D rig which makes sense because the whole setup is more lightweight and compact than if we would have taken a big Alexa. Um, but on the body side, we have the same recording or workflow options that we have on a standard Alexa. For example, you can record on SPS cards or uncompressed on an external recorder or even RE RAW. So all this reliability, quality that you know from the Alexa camera is maintained on the M. So here you see we have the head of the M and the body. It's not yet the final design, it might look a bit different later. But the idea is to have it separated and have a fiber cable between it. It's a standard SMT cable, um, which can transmit the signal, but also um, power the head from the body, if you like to. In this case, it's around 100 meters maximum distance possible. If you want to power the head locally, um, then you can have the body maybe a mile away from the head. So you're flexible to do what you want. You can put it on a 3D rig, or you can use it for action photography. Maybe put the body on a backpack on your back and be really flexible with a small lightweight head. Is there an expected price point announced for this? Not year? yet, not yet. What we have here now is a mock-up. Uh, by September this year we will have working prototypes. And by beginning of next year, 2012, we will have the final product. And then we will know how much it is. We have not yet really finished. Uh, everything. Here I'm very proud to be able to show you now a mock-up of the Alexa Studio. Yeah, uh, The Alexa Studio is, um, is an Alexa with an optical viewfinder and a mirror shutter and it uses the full 4x3 sensor area. So as you can see here we have an anamorphic lens on it. It also features all the features which the Alexa Plus has. It has an integrated radio module an integrated lens control system. So that is really the top of the line model of the Alexa family of cameras. It will be available by the end of this year for sale. And um, yeah, we're looking very much forward. Very great. It's great to see uh, the Alexa expanding out into multiple different options for different types of cinematography. Yes, yes, it's a family, it's a platform, a camera platform. And on that platform, we have many different solutions. Um, so the customer can choose what fits best for his needs. Another cool thing which we have over there in this camera um, is a special uh, uh, software for the Alexa um, which enables uh, the Alexa to record in high speed mode up to 120 frames per second. So that's what we are presenting here. Works already will be also available in the near future. Uh, another cool thing is uh, anamorphic de-squeeze mode, which will be a paid feature in one of the next software versions. So you can use anamorphic lenses with the Alexa and de-squeeze it in the, in the electronic viewfinder, de-squeeze the image. Now, last but not least, um, I want to show you some smaller tools which we have, like the wireless network adapter. This one enables you to control the Alexa camera through a device like an iPad. Really? Yeah, come with me. So here you see uh, first prototype of the WAN1, the wireless network adapter, connects to the Ethernet connector of the Alexa camera. And then you can just take an iPad or something like that and control the camera from that wireless. 
another new thing which is already selling now is the remote control unit, the RCU4. If you compare, it's, it's, it's the same interface like the, on the Alexa camera, but connected through Ethernet uh, cable with the Alexa. So if you have it on a crane, for example, you can control it very easily. You have a zero learning curve because it's uh, just the same display, the same interface, the same menu structure that you know from the Alexa camera already. By accident, this camera got burned, as you see. Um, it looks really awesome. It pains my heart if I see it. But when my colleagues saw it first, uh, they said, okay, let's try to power it up. So you plug a bed, uh, uh, power connector on it, and it started. It started booting, and, and, and it worked. They said, okay, hmm, first let us see how the image looks. I put a lens on it and a monitor, and what happens, what you see here, is a beautiful image. It works very well, and even recording on the SPS card worked. So that's what we mean when we say it's an ARRI quality product. Yeah, can, can be in, in the fire, but still work. <laughs> Subscribe to us on YouTube and visit nextwavedv.com for more news and training for video and filmmakers.